verdict. The DS7 Crossback offers much in the way of luxury, space and moderately quirky design but it's not an inspiring drive. Price, £28,050. While DS has been back in business for a few years now the DS7 Crossback is the first machine that has been designed from the ground up to represent what the company stands for, charismatic design, French luxury and advanced technology. It might look pretty similar to a horde of other smaller SUVs but DS is hoping it has enough bespoke design cues to draw customers away from rivals such as BMW's X1, Audi's Q3, the Volvo XC40 and the Range Rover Evoque. All but the entry-level models pack quite a high level of specification and have enough showroom appeal with their luxurious interiors to potentially steal customers from the more established brands. A more powerful FEV model with four-wheel drive and acclaimed 300 bhp is coming in 2019 but it'll need to have a thoroughly revised chassis if it's to endow the DS7 with an enthralling driving experience. In the meantime, those after a small sporty-ish SUV should look elsewhere. DS7 Crossback in Detail Performance and 060 time, DS7 Crossback acceleration figures won't set the world on fire and lag behind rivals with the 2 liter diesel's nigh on 10 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time looking tardy these days. Engine and gearbox, 3 engines are offered, 2 diesels and 1 petrol with outputs ranging from 128 bhp to 222 bhp. Transmissions are a 6-speed manual or a new 8-speed auto for the 180 and 225 models. Ride and Handling Clever Active Scan Suspension endows DS7 with a decent ride and comfort mode. Driving modes frustratingly do not offer the option of personalizing them. MPG and Running Costs Smaller engine diesel promises nigh on 70 miles per gallon while more powerful models are said to do high 50s. Interior and tech, style and luxury are the watchwords for the DS7's interior and it certainly comes with plenty of Gallic flair. Lots of gadgets and gizmos to play with, and plenty of space, too. Design, the DS7 tries to stand out from its rivals with some neat detailing like the LED rear light clusters and the jewel-like rotating headlights. Prices, Specs and Rivals DS is pitching the DS7 cross back into a very crowded SUV marketplace and says it sees the BMW X1, Audi Q3, Volvo XC40, Jaguar E-Pace and Range Rover Evoque as key rivals. But can the DS7 hope to compete with these established premium players? The initial launch lineup comprises two diesels, Blue D130, manual only, and Blue D180, auto only, and one petrol. The PureTech 225, again, auto only. Three trim levels are offered, Elegance, Blue D130 only, Performance Line and Prestige, all three engines, and Ultra Prestige, 180 and 225 only. Prices start at a palatable £28,050 for the Elegance and rise to a pretty stratospheric £43,000 for the two Ultra Prestige models. Yes. You do get a lot of kit for your money with these latter two, but when the BMW X120DX line costs £35,000, the DS7 looks rather expensive. The BMW is significantly quicker too, even if it doesn't have quite so much standard equipment. In terms of equipment elegance comes with cloth seats, 18-inch alloys, cruise control, lane departure warning and two-zone aircon while performance line models gain 19s an Alcantara-clad interior, active scan suspension, 180 and 225 only, LED headlights and a navigation system. The two top-end models really are very well kitted out and just about the only option of note that can be fitted to the Ultra Prestige model is night vision. The compact SUV market is tough though and while the DS might not have the established players licked for driver appeal it does offer an alternative to them with its Gallic style, luxury bent and quirky appeal.